If this isn't satisfying, I don't know what is. Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Vanilla Let's Play series, where in this episode we have actually updated to 1.16.2 two which is really exciting and i'm hoping that we will be able to go to the nether that is definitely going to be a project hopefully for maybe next episode i think i have an idea for the portal but anyways we will not be going to the nether today uh maybe in the next episode we'll have to see but anyways we have a few things to do before we go i have a few things to do at home and then i want to explore today i want to see what is around this area um, in the jungle, I don't know what to, direction to go in actually. All directions are interesting, but I think we might either be going in that direction or maybe diagonal in that direction. But I think through the jungle, it's gonna be pretty cool. Also because I want to make that jungle outpost. Uh, so yeah, I want to find a cool jungle tree for that. Now if we have a quick look here at the entrance, I've done something to both these sides and I can't... I wanna add something and I feel like the fence here really add something cool but uh, yeah I I like both of them let me know which side you like the best down in the comments below I like both of them um, I think I like the one with the fence better though now what I want to make here is basically a way of me to input things into these furnaces and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have to remove these unfortunately so we're gonna have to uh, Make things a little bit prettier in here. Uh, do I have things? I don't have that many things actually. Uh, but I basically, uh, what we're gonna need is we're gonna place a chest here. Uh, do I have a chest by any chance? No, I do not. Well, let's make some. All right. So we will need a chest here, which means these gotta go. So a chest here, and then we're gonna need four hoppers. In total we have the iron for that we have plenty of iron and I have been mining off camera actually that is a thing I should note uh, oh wait I can't do that uh, hold on hold on uh, all right here we go four chests and then we just need to put the iron in place four hoppers right there uh, that's the messy chest don't look at that <laughs> we're not gonna look at that uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these hoppers down so they're facing into these right here and then I think this is gonna work we're gonna do that what is then gonna happen is an item will travel through here and if it can get into this furnace it's gonna go down if it can't get in here it should continue and so on until we get to this one I think this is how it's gonna work. Let's see. I'm gonna throw some gold ore in there. Ah. That's... Hmm. That's not how that worked. Okay, I think I might need to do this in the other way around. So, furnace, smoker, and blast furnace. I think this is the way that I need to do it. I hope I might be wrong. We'll have to see. So, if I drop a single iron ore in here... It's gonna go to the blast furnace, but do I have any meat in here? Nope. All right, we're just gonna take some cobblestone to smelt because why not? Uh, which should then it cannot go into the smoker, it cannot go into the furnace. So I'm hoping. No, it just uh, that's annoying. I was hoping I was able to be smart about this, but apparently not. <laughs> well then, I guess. Uh, hmm. Wow, that that's really that's really annoying. Uh, if you know if the if this you see what I'm trying to do, if you know this is doable, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, if you did not watch the last episode, we built a semi-automatic redstone farm, and it has grown. It has grown, and it is now time for harvest. So if we go over here, you can see well, almost time in a way, but it's good enough. Uh, not all the wheat and such have grown, but the carrots and the potatoes are very far ahead in the growth. Uh, a lot of them are ready. I don't even know. The, is that a saying? Is it, you can't say that. But anyways, that doesn't matter. I'm out of food. We need food. So we are going to test this system in its full, of, in, in its full, in its full glory. All right. Click the button. It's gonna take it all down to this water source. And I do see we actually have a little bit of a mistake here. Where some of it lands over here. That's interesting. 
it should not do that obviously uh, so we might need to put like a fence here or a piece of glass maybe or something so we can still access this chest uh, if anything we can just have another hopper pointing this way and we can have the chest here instead and just place a stair here but anyways everything has been harvested now we can retract the water and we can go ahead and is this still transferring it is actually still transferring but we now have a lot of stuff so we have a lot of potatoes and we have a lot of carrots um i'm just gonna plant everything again even though i do need it i might keep the carrots because ultimately i want potatoes in this farm so not to uh, yeah it needs to grow anyway and only be potatoes so i'm probably gonna stick with the carrots and some bread for now also i moved the sugarcane from over there or here i might rearrange it because this is kind of high that is actually another project that i want to do i want to make an automated um bamboo farm and sugarcane farm uh, so that is a future project as well together with going to the nether but that i think the nether is going to have highest priority here also if you have not figured it out yet i am actually using a new microphone right now let me know how how it sounds let, let me know <laughs> <laughs> and let me know if you even if you even uh, noticed a difference. But anyways, uh, I think it is time to go exploring. Uh, do, can we make any bread? Because we're gonna need food. Uh, so there we go. I think this is everything. I would might need a few more sticks though. So let's make those right away. We have tools. We have water bucket. We have food. Maybe we can even find more food in the way. I'm not gonna bring you. Um, because that's, yeah, I don't, I don't want to risk, I don't want to risk losing him. Uh, that is usually what happens. I get a pet in Minecraft and it stays indoors, uh, the entire time because I don't want to risk it. All right. So what, where are we gonna go? Uh, I feel like we're just gonna go whatever this direction is. I think this is, yeah, this is West. Um, hmm, and like, can we climb? I think we can climb one of these just to be able to eh, get me up there just to be able to get a little bit of an overview of this place maybe and see something interesting or at least see where in what direction there might be something interesting can we get all the way to the top here that would be pretty cool there we go all right uh jungle 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 as far as i can see Except for over there, there's something over there, but I can't, I really want to go in this direction though. I really want to go in this direction. It looks like that jungle tree over there is going to be the highest. I would like it closer to home base though. So maybe this jungle tree right here as the jungle outpost, maybe this tree and that tree. There's this one too, but that's kind of out of the jungle. Um, I kind of want it deeper in. Is that something? Is that something? It's 1.16. I don't have zoom. This is, this is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Unidentified fog. That's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, back to yeah, bit, bit eighty. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go for it. Uh, how am I gonna get down without dying? All right. So what am I looking for? Pretty much anything interesting. Villages, jungle ruins, desert biomes, desert temples. Uh, yeah, anything of interest really it could even be. Ravine, of course, abandoned portal would be really cool as well, and yeah, that's that's gonna be the that that's gonna be the main thing. And food, if we can get some food with us uh, on the way back, that would be pretty amazing as well. Maybe we'll find a shipwreck even. Uh, who knows? That is a possibility as well. I should probably not run that much. Actually, I don't have a bed with me. That's probably bad. If we see some sheep, I might have to uh, get some wool and make a bed. But yeah, I have a new microphone now. Let me know what you think it sounds. How how you think it sounds? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you miss it? Is is it better than the old one? Is it worse than the old one? Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, because it, it, it's weird because sometimes, right? Sometimes when you are the producer or I guess creator or the person making whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. Could be a painting. Could be. Building a Lego house could be anything. Uh, sometimes you judge yourself or you you see things, s such small things that when other people see it, it, it's you see something that isn't important, basically. It's basically you're a 
without that's on purpose, trying to, fiddling with like very, very minor, small details and things that other people might not even notice. And it's been a case with like this for me anyway, uh, when it comes to uh, video making, because a lot of the time I've been like, hey, there's this in the background, there's that in the background, and da, 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 da. but then when other people, people hear it, they're like, dude, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> so it's always nice to get a different perspective than your own when you're making anything. When, it, when it's making anything, then it's always good to get another perspective on the subject. But anyways, that is enough of me rambling. Just thought I'd talk about that because, yeah, why not? This is jungle. Uh, this jungle is very big. There's a swamp over there. I might go in that direction, but I really want to see... Now, what is on the other side of this jungle in this direction? What do we have here? A cave. Don't want to go down in caves right now. I've been mining today already. Don't want to do that again. That's some sheep and uh, you know what? Food and wool. Do we have another white sheep? We're probably gonna stumble. Wait, that's an abandoned portal. That's an, ab that's an abandoned portal right here, yes! That was actually not that far away from home at all. Also, this is gonna burn down the forest. Stab, what you did, stab, stab everything. And uh, let's, okay, let's put out the fires. Okay, put out the fires here. Okay, okay, oh dear. Don't burn down my forest. No, bad. Okay, we need to, uh, I might need to put out this lava here. Otherwise it's gonna spread like crazy. Uh, just gonna use cobblestone. I could turn it into obsidian as well. But this should be good. Okay, what do we have here? We have a... How many obsidian blocks do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I believe eight. Eight obsidian blocks. That's not bad. Do we have... Okay, we only have one chest. I think only one chest spawns here. But we do have very big chunks of gold right here. That's one. I saw another one. I saw another one. Yep, right up there. Let's let's grab that. Let's. Uh, yep, yeah, that's. Is that slabs? That slabs. Can you get? The, the, uh, when can you get mossy brick and slab? Okay. Uh, I must have missed something. <laughs> okay, get those gold blocks and let's see what is in the chest. This, this is really exciting. I was hoping to find something like this here. Okay, let's see what's in. Okay, uh, what do we got? Glistering melon. A golden horse armor, a golden chest place with unbreaking two, a flint fire charge, and a golden apple. And it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But it's not the greatest. The gold blocks are probably what is most valuable. And it's getting night time. Oh dear. I need another sheep so I can make a bed. <laughs> uh, I think I might even have a... Oh wait. That's a spruce forest. Ooh. There might be some sheep in there. But we have a spruce forest here. At the edge of the jungle in the west direction. Okay. Oh, oh dear. It is really difficult to navigate this forest. The jungle thing. It's annoying. I want out. Alright, spruce forest here at the edge of the jungle. And it seems pretty big. Bad news though. I do not see a sheep anywhere. So this could be interesting. But I definitely want some spruce saplings with us back home. So that we can grow our own spruce trees uh, without dying, though. That, that's <laughs> that's gonna be the main objective here. Oh yeah, we can have some berries as well. That's, I mean, that's one food source for us. Oh, that's a, nope. Wait, I thought I thought that was a spider for a second. I see some cows here, and unfortunately, we do need food. Ow! Uh, there's also a creeper though. So how about I just grab that and uh, I'll be on my way again. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Don't don't get stuck with a creeper on your back. Don't uh, don't get stuck. Don't don't. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, zombie. It's hitting me with a shovel. Also, some chickens can get some arrows with some feathers if they would like to give me some feathers. That is, instead of just their chicken, uh, chicken meat. There we go. We need some food. All right. We need some food. Get away. Okay. I'm being hunted. Why have I not found a sheep yet? I just need a sheep. Wait. Is that more jungle? Oh, yeah, that's jungle over there. I need a sheep. All right, we have a little bit of change in biome. What do we have here? That's a gray sheep. I don't think... Wait, white sheep. Boom. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. Okay, we have we have some biome change over here. Let's get down to the river and let's set up a temporary camp where I can put down a bit and uh, I can gather some ow ow ow. I can gather some uh, spruce wood and we can take a look at our surroundings better. Uh, that's the worst place I could possibly go to. It's crawling with enemies. How about no? This little spot will do. All right, put that down. Hopefully I'm not getting followed or tracked or anything. Yep, this will do. Do I have any coal on me? No, otherwise I could have made a very cool little campfire. All right, let's get some of this uh, saplings. I really just need one. I would like maybe two or three just to have some. So I'm gonna cut down this tree and this tree and yeah, this should be good maybe. Hopefully. I'm hoping. What do you want? You know what? You're a threat. I don't want you here. I want you gone. Please be gone. Thank you. I really want either a village or at the very least a desert. That would be pretty cool and I really, really would like that. Oh, is that a sapling? I think that might be a sapling. Two saplings. Nice. An egg sack. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want the egg sack. Uh, do we have another sapling over here? No. What about here? No. Alright. Three saplings should be good. I'm gonna take up my stuff. We have a full inventory already. It would be really nice to have a backpack in Minecraft. I mean, I know there's the ender chest, but that's kind of late game. It would be really cool if you could just get like a normal backpack that just has maybe like five or nine slots. That would... I wouldn't mind that at all. Make it maybe made it out of gold or something like that. That I think that would be pretty cool. A pretty cool addition to the game because this is not big. It's not big at all. I see a bee. There's a bee over here. Is there a beehive over here then? We have to do some stuff with bees. Hey buddy. Where's your beehive? I would like to note it down for later use. Is it around here somewhere? I mean, I don't see it. I really, really want... Oh, wait. There's another one. I really want, uh, I need the location of a beehive, I'm pretty sure, in order to do anything with bees, so... Wait, this one is probably gonna go back, so let's follow it. Where are you going? Hey, buddy. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, I don't know where the hive is, but I do see two rooftops over here. Two rooftops, which means village. Will it have villages in it, or is it full with cobweb? Uh, it could be either, but I think this one is a legit village. Yep, it's a legit village with the villages in it. We don't have cobwebs and all that stuff. Nice. We have three bells. I'll definitely need to uh, borrow one of those. Nice. Okay, do they have a blacksmith, I wonder? Because I would not mind taking some stuff. <laughs> I mean, I mean borrowing. All right, I'm going to go through these villager houses and see what we got. Uh, I mean, I can always use more potatoes, I suppose. Maybe the apples would... Nah. Nah. Is it okay if I take this stuff, guys? Is it okay? No. Can I take it? Can I take it? Is it okay if I take some stuff here? I'm sure they're saying yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, see? Okay, uh, yeah, it's a yes. I don't think they have a blacksmith here, but they do have an iron golem keeping guard, so that is really good, of course. Is that a stone cutter I see there? I think that might be a stone cutter. Well then, I wonder if there are any other villagers closer to us, because if we want to do anything with villagers, then... Uh, then... Yeah, we... Uh, it's, it's gonna be a pain to get these villagers all the way back to base if we want to make something uh, with them. Uh, that's that's definitely gonna be a pain. I cannot go to a village and not take a bell if they have three of them. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, uh, they said it's just a spare. It's, uh, it, it's okay. They, they don't need it. 
Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. We did some pretty good exploration. We found a village, which means we can do some trades if any of them even have a job. Do you have a job? Yes, you have a job. That's, a, yeah, that's an okay trade, actually. Um, but yes, we can now do more stuff with villagers. Well, not more. We can do stuff with villagers now. And the sun is going down. Uh, and we found a ruined nether portal. Definitely it's going to be useful once we get, want to get to the nether. We can use the obsidian from it and such. So that is going to be pretty cool but anyways i'm going to uh call it here uh, they allowed me to okay apparently i'm roommate with this guy um <laughs> but they allowed me to stay in here for 10 okay privacy is gonna be an issue here um but yeah they, they allowed me to uh to stay over for uh yeah, for, for temporary until I move on in my travels. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and uh, goodbye. Yeah, uh, I, I would like to sleep. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, sleep on the floor. Goodbye. <laughs>